ABCD is a trapezoid where BC is parallel to AD and perpendicular to AB. Kindly know that BC less than AD. P is a point on AD such that CPD is an equilateral triangle. Q is a point on BC such that AQ is parallel to PC. If the area of the triangle CPD is 4 root 3, find the area of the triangle ABQ. So let's first plot the data that we have. The first thing that it says is we have a trapezium where BC is parallel to AD and BC is less than AD and also AB is perpendicular to BC. We also have that. So we have a trapezium of this form AD. This is 90 degree. So this is also 90 degree. Done. P is a point on AD such that CPD is an equilateral triangle. We have a point on AD called P such that CPD is an equilateral triangle. So all the three sides are equal. That we know. Q is a point on BC such that AQ is parallel to PC. So we have a point Q over here on BC. I connect AQ. This is parallel to PC. Now if QC is parallel to AP and AQ is parallel to PC, we clearly know that's a parallelogram. Two sets of parallel line intersecting. So it's a parallelogram. Automatically the opposite sides are equal. So CP and AQ, they both are equal in length. Now we know that. The area of this triangle is given. They are asking you the area of this triangle, which is easy. Now, <clears throat> we know that CPD is an equilateral triangle. That means D is 60 degree. P is 60 degree. And C is also 60 degree. C in the equilateral triangle is 60 degree. Now, ABCD is a quadrilateral. So that means the angle enclosed by the quadrilateral is 360 degree. We know this is 90 this is 90 and this is 60. 90, 90, 60 is 240. That means an overall angle of C is 120 degrees. But PCD is 60. That means QCP is also 60 degrees. Now since QCAP is a parallelogram, the angle enclosed over here is 120 degree. And automatically here is 120. And this is 60. And ABP is 90 degrees. So BAP is 90 degree. That means BAQ is 30. This is 60. So we have a right angle triangle ABQ. That B is 90 degree. A and Q. Which is of the form 30 degree, 60 degree, 90 degree. A 30, 60, 90 right angle triangle will have the sides in the ratio 1 is to root 3 is to 2. If we can find out AQ, we can easily find the other two sides and we are through with that. Now, I look at this triangle here. That's an equilateral triangle. So, let's call PD as A. Now, I'm going to find the area of this triangle. An equilateral triangle, when I draw the height, when I draw the height, that automatically becomes the angle bisector of that angle and also the bisector of the opposite side. So, this is A by 2. Now, this is 60 degree, this is 90 degree, so this is again 30 degree. I have an another 30, 60, 90. So, that has to be, I take this triangle here, let's call this X. I take this triangle X D C. So here this is 30. That means this has to be 1 root 3 2. I have this side as A by 2. Because this is a half of P D. So this is A by 2. So this becomes 1. And this automatically becomes root 3 by 2 A. Now from here we can figure out this area. Now I know area of CPD is equal to half of PD into CX that is equal to 4 root 3. I know that this is half of PD is A into CX is root 3A by 2 is equal to 4 root 3. So root 3 root 3 gets cancelled. I have a square is equal to 4 over that becomes 16. So A is equal to 4. You know A is 4. If this is 4, I know that AQ also becomes 4. Now to find the area of ABQ becomes easy. 
where B A Q this is 4 I know that 1 is to root 3 is to 2 where 2 is the hypotenuse instead of 2 I have 4 that means everything doubles this is 2 this is 2 root 3 so this is 2 root 3 and this is 2 now to find the area of this triangle becomes easy half of the base is 2 and the height is 2 root 3 so 2 and 2 gets cancelled the answer is 2 root 3 square units so the moment you know the basic angle the side uh, ratios 30 60 90 is 1 is to root 3 is to 2 this entire question becomes easy